it's Dorm with Tactical Live. Today's video, we're gonna be covering the Sapphire Land Liberator HP hearing protection. So stay tuned. All right guys, so we're back, and uh, today it's all about the Safari Line Liberator. Um, I've been using the noise canceling headphones for uh, pretty much my entire adult life. I, I may have messed with them a little bit before that, but uh, if memory serves, we pretty much always use the uh, the Peltors, and then when using comms, sometimes we'd use the Sorden brand, and they worked. But um, these are definitely kind of a next generation step up. They come in uh, several different colors and configurations. This is the above top of the head. Um, kind of standard version. You can also get the helmet mounting system where they'll clip right into the sides of your helmet if you're going to be running um, if you're going to be running that configuration for long periods of time. And they also have a behind the head configuration that will actually work with and without a helmet. So if you kind of had to go with one, um, if you're living that life, you wearing a helmet, then that, that might be the uh, the option for you. But you can switch the actual ear protection from to and from all three different ones. You can buy one set and then go back and forth. I thought that was pretty cool. It's fairly easy to uh, modify, I've messed around with it a little bit. Just uh, follow the directions, easy enough. Uh, these ones came in a multicam with black hardware buttons and microphones. You can also get them in uh, with red buttons and microphones if you want that little bit of extra flair. This one just kind of went with the subdued. Construction wise, guys, pretty decent. I haven't noticed any wear or anything giving I run these a couple times a week. You know, we are out here quite a bit. One thing that sets them apart, though, are the uh, the ear cups. All right, they've got the gel with the uh, meant to be sweaty, meant to be wet, meant to be wet and nasty material. And man, if you don't have that, you're running and gunning, you're sweating. Over time, it's just going to destroy what you have. Um, the uh, the microphones are not waterproof. They're not sweat proof. They're sweat resistant. So the more you can do to keep these things clean and not soaked in your own nests, um, definitely a plus. These things were designed uh, with end users in mind, guys that uh, wear kit and get sweaty for a living. And I've been, I've used these for several classes now. Um, it is getting hotter out here. We have had some uh, weather, but um, you know, doesn't take much for me to start sweating. And um, I haven't noticed any problems with these whatsoever. They, uh, they got an on off button. You just hold it on for about a second. They pop on. It comes in um, standard mode or enhanced mode as it's called. And that's kind of the standard configuration where loud noises like gunfire are going to be um, minimized for your hearing protection, but you're gonna be able to hear people walk up behind you. You're gonna be able to have conversations. You're gonna be able to maintain situational awareness in regards to your hearing. And that is you know, definitely a must. If you lose situational awareness, you're kind of screwed in my opinion. And these things do that very well. They also have a move mode, which is kind of a roundabout way of saying you're being transported on probably, say, an aircraft. And for those of you that have, you know, have only flown commercial or driven around in nice cars, military aircraft are not meant for creature comforts. They are not a pleasurable experience. They're extremely loud. And being able to switch these to move mode drowns out all sound, giving you maximum protection. You're being transported. Hopefully you're flying high enough, far enough away from danger where you don't need that extra situational awareness for the enhanced mode. Um, I have turned it on, messed with it, but it, it basically drowns out all sound like standard non-electric Air Pro would. You have to, you know, raise your voice to communicate, et cetera, but definitely worth it. And then clarity mode blocks all external noise while enhancing nearby speech and audio. So this one's fairly close to the other one. If you're going to be in extremely uh, loud environments, maybe there's uh, machinery going on or you need to communicate on an aircraft, a helicopter, whatever, you can switch it into this third mode. But once you get back to the ground, you know, if it's my two cents, I, su I suggest going with mode one or the enhanced mode, but that's just me. Now, this is just a standard um, above the head configuration, kind of their flagship, probably bestseller. But at an additional cost, you can either buy from Safari Land 
um, right off the bat, or you can send your unit back to them. And for an additional cost, they will turn your headset into a comms capable headset for either single or dual radios. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, these things were designed from the very beginning to be headsets for end users and give them the best in uh, hearing protection while plugging right into their comms. And during my last job, even if we were using radios or doing anything tactical, guys would just throw these on, their headsets on, they wouldn't plug them into anything and they would just use them as ear pro. So, I mean, you're kind of, in my opinion, it's kind of the best of both worlds. Haven't had a chance to mess with the, Spar the Safari Land Liberator. They're called the four or the five, respectively for single and dual comms. Towards the end of my career, I was a two radio guy. You know, that's kind of a, everybody has that point in their career. You know, if you stay in long enough where you don't get to, you want the guy out front doing all the cool stuff. You don't get to have all the cool guns and everything else. You know, you're, you're rocking a more basic loadout and you're more worried about the big picture. You know, assets, be them air assets, ground assets, you know, ships at sea, whatever it's gonna be. Um, the Liberator can handle both of those, both single and dual comms, which I also thought was pretty cool. They also have um, their own push to talks to go with the uh, the unit, but you can look that up on their website. It's all there for you, you know, that's what you need. The battery compartment on this thing is actually pretty cool, guys. This battery compartment takes either a single one, two, three, or two double A's. The, the compartment will handle either. So no matter which batteries you have, either of those types, you can go ahead and switch them back and forth. And if that's not enough for you, they do have a rechargeable version, but that you have to buy directly from them. You'll either have the disposable battery that, that you can run, again, the one, two, three, or you can switch over to two triple A's, and then they have a rechargeable version. I haven't had a chance to mess with the rechargeable version, but, um, you know, if you're into saving money, saving the environment, definitely, you know, look into it. So with fresh batteries, you can look in at a, either from 160 to 300 hour lifespan. I know that uh, is quite a bit of variance, but it, it's dependent on which mode you're running in and for how long. Um, I have not changed the batteries out on these yet. I have messed around with the move mode and the clarity modes, which are modes two and three, but I don't use them. I just keep it on mode one, which is the standard noise canceling configuration that the uh, my previous Ear Pro gave me. You know, I still have a few headsets. You know, they work fine. I have no issues with them, but uh, I am curious. You know, I'm curious to see, you know, what the next generation in headsets um, have to offer. Back in my last job, we used um, Silinx. We used Invisio. Again, the Peltor and Sorden um, headsets similar to this. And then uh, the OpsCore stuff was getting to be more popular on my way out, but the last couple of years in, I wasn't really getting new gear. It's more of a uh, guy that's still around the clipboard and told you how you did at the end of your run, you know? Oh, that, was, that, was, that was my job. But um, all in all, super impressed with these so far. Uh, I'd recommend them to anybody that's looking to get into them. You are gonna pay a little, you know, bit for them. They aren't cheap. Uh, they come in under $400 in that 350 range. You can shop around, see what you can find. So again, guys, you know, I just use these on the range, teaching classes, making videos. Um, haven't had a chance to um, run and gun with them, so to speak, for a super pr prolonged period of time. But based on my previous experience with these types of headsets, um, again, super impressed so far with these ones. Uh, I am going to look into the other attachment methods, but if you're looking for kind of a one does all, again, that behind the head um, mounting system will allow you to wear whatever hats, helmets, combination covers i mean whatever it is you know maybe there's a certain safety color that your your parents make you wear to keep you safe you know orange was big in my house so anyway taken from somebody who has uh, definitely lost some hearing along the way you know protect what you have you know your, your ears aren't going to get any better your eyes aren't going to get any better definitely invest in yourself keep yourself safe and being able to maintain situational awareness and just have conversations on the range while during live fire operations is uh a must you know in my opinion especially if you're teaching or trying to learn you know invest in yourself you know if you're going to take training classes then there's certain types of gear that really are enhancing and um, having the best set of iPro the best set of ear pro you can afford is I highly recommend um yeah these are pricey but so is everything th these days we just spent 70 bucks on four burritos you know that's just the world we're living in so you know pick yourself up a set of these you can't go wrong that's my two cents
All right, guys, so what you get in the box, you know, it comes out of this sleeve, you know, rice red shoe box type package. Inside you have a, uh, like a little carry bag. If you wanted to use that for the air flow or anything else, easy enough, it actually has little straps. You could throw it on your back if you needed to. I'm not going to, but you know, it was a nice touch. You have a user guide and a quick card with instructions of how to um, turn it on, how to change the modes, how the volume works. It's all pretty self-explanatory, as well as um, a more in-depth user guide. Both of these you can find easily on the website. You can pull them up on your phone. I just have them here for the video. It also came with two AAA batteries. You know, I had a one, two, three, ready to go, so I just used that. But you know, if need be, I can switch to these because this thing allows you to use both in the same exact compartment which again, I thought was pretty cool. So as far as turning on and off, it just has a button back here that runs along the left side. If your uh, microphones are forward, you go ahead and hold it for a second, you'll hear a voice that says powering on. You do it again, you'll hear a voice that says powering off. Uh, when it powers on, it'll tell you what mode it's in, mode one, mode two, or mode three. Mine's always in mode one, because that's what I needed to do. But if I wanted to switch to that move mode, or the clarity mode as it's called, that's mode two and three respectively. And in order to do so, you just go ahead and touch the uh, plus and minus buttons, which are just forward of the on off. You hold them down for one second and it switches right to mode two. Do it again. Goes right to mode three. Do it again. Right back to mode one. And this is where I'm staying because that's what I like. But it's that easy. That's simple. That's streamless. That's streamlined, whatever you want to call it. You can just go back and forth as you see fit, whatever your environment needs, you can just adapt. And um, adaptability is what it's all about. So again, pretty impressed so far with these things. All right, guys, so that's just my quick down and dirty, my two cents. Again, for somebody who has lost hearing, um, it's super annoying and it doesn't get any better. Uh, I, uh, I swear, I, I can't chew and watch TV at the same time from a distance. Like I got to turn the volume. How annoying is that? You know, and I'm still in my 30s. So please, it does, you, know, you don't have to go with this exact model, but definitely put some thought into it and do not take your hearing or eyesight for granted because you can lose it. All right. This is Dora with Tactical Live. Thanks for being here. Uh, give this video a like if you haven't already done so. And definitely subscribe and hit that bell, guys. We are putting out a video a day at least. This is a labor of love. We've got a back catalog that is fastly approaching a thousand videos or more. And I'll see you on the next one.